Right, let's get this wheel turning. Lead you to your s sleep. Just say that. Do not enter. Warranty. Oh boy. Um, let me uh, just um, can I go this way? Just creep up here for a second. Oh, good. Okay, didn't startle them. Good start. Very good start. Here. Oh, hello. Good. Healing. Healing. Chachins. Nice. Five. <laughs> Health pamphlet. <laughs> wow, a bit late for that. <laughs> Helpful hints for healthful hygiene. <coughs> Publication of the Wellington World's Department of Health. Perhaps you've heard rumours at the market or received a tip from a neighbour. There's a case of the sniffles going around in Wellington Wells. Here's some cheap and cheerful tips for keeping you home germ free. 1. Never venture to any of the district currently being beautified. All that plaster dust can really kick up the germs. Don't worry, your friends and those districts won't wait for you. I'm not sure about that. No, two. Don't neglect. Inject. Penicillin. Penicillin needles are indeed sizable, but don't let that put you off. That small ouchie is a small price to pay for robust health. Lots of God. <laughs> Three. A doctor a day keeps the ickies away. If any members of your household are feeling loogy, moggy, do contact the nearest doctor. Extra icky cases, he may ask you or your loved one to undergo advanced treatment at a local clinic. This may be a matter of days or even weeks, but keen health will be worth the wait. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, they'll kill you and lobotomize you, as we've seen. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I, don't, I think we'll avoid that if we can. Let's just try and go past him. Easy, easy. Dear occupant, congratulations! Hoorah! This note is supposed to inform you of the lovely news that your neighborhood will shortly be the subject of a massive beautification effort. Your streets, parks, sidewalks, lampposts, and more will be made ever that more beautiful. Right. <laughs> the department apologizes in advance for any minor inconvenience and traffic blockages this may cause. Should this cause distress, we invite you to take a joy pill and contemplate the magnificent beautification soon to come in your mind's eye. It will be ever so worth it. God. <laughs> now, just make people kill them, just starve themselves and kill themselves. Yeah, that death, that's real awful beautification, isn't it? Let's just ignore that. I could, but I just, let's not good if we don't have to. Um. Curious. No, let's just ignore that. Anything over here? That. Okay. Okay, oh, right. Okay, so that's the sign. Can we get into... Okay, no, can't get in there, that's fair enough. Okay, yup. Oh, we've got another thing. The Vix mother again. Right. Oh! <coughs> Number six. Lovely shot. Nope. 
Oh, shush. Absolutely. 100% necessary. <laughs> One clearly sees the superiority of Western civilization. Spare me your revolutionary rhetoric. That's what landed you in jail. What landed me in jail was refusing to accept the unacceptable. Okay. Quite good, decent number of healing bombs. Alright. Oh, we're okay, now we're seeing where we are. Very neat elapse. Okay. What the hell is in there? Why is it padlocked? Okay. Can we, um. That works. Nothing to see here, just take the wand around. Ali Sh. Al Sh. Shifty. Ali Sh. Ali Stashki. Wow. That's some good. Good stuff in there. Okay. Put me up on these roof. T wow. This stuff is slightly frequent. Morning. Or eat a uh, lovely day for it. <laughs> I have to say that. What the hell? Lovely day, Christmas Ben. Come to keep us on our toes, eh? Oh, you Don't know worry. it. We all know about the imposter what caused the ruckus to move, Booth. Good, good. Let's just keep down the down low. No, no, no need to speak of it any further. Can I go in here? Looks like I can. I shouldn't have hit him so hard. We're supposed to leave something for the doctors to rehabilitate. Well, he did try to stab you. Of course. Oh, yes, right. Yes, he did. Very naughty, that one. <laughs> yeah, that Blackberry is doing wonders, isn't it? Not. Let me just put it this way, on the odd rare occasion, things like that did, where stories were invented, shall I say. <sighs> the sake of, oh, can we, ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Can I, <sighs> ooh, I'll take that. Um. The hell's this supposed to take me? Something across there, but um, I don't think we can reach that to be honest. Let's leave that for now. Just suss at our surroundings. Looks a little more normal. Oh, oh, joy, yep, we're gonna have to disable that. Luckily, they can be disabled. Right, gotcha. We're up here. Interesting. Oh, oh. Um. 
Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. This could get a little ugly. Whoa! That was it. That was a touch. Now. Um. Dear operator, congratulations, technician. You must be the pr must be proud to be tasked with the operation of the DD24 fire data detector, representing the latest in optical model sensing technology. The DD245 is an easy to use brolly, as is easy to use as a brolly. Once activated, it simply allows citizens to pass through in the course of their normal circulation. If a data is sensed by a detector, the paired GDT269 device or spanker will automatically activate and handle the disruptive party cleanly with minimal effort required on the part of the attending constabulary. Detailed instructions on the de de on the device's operation can be found in excuse me in this note's companion brochure. A cause for joy operating the GD245 optical model sense sensor. Happy spanking! Okay. Now it looks like can we could we get up there? It almost looks like it. I'm really tempted. Let's do this the long way though. Okay. We two Whew, that was a bit close. <coughs> Let's go around the other side, because this looks like... Oh, that can be open there as well. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Nope, that's not going to work. I mean... Is that possible? Looks like it could be. Huh. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, we just came to right up. <laughs> I was thinking, what the hell? You know what? Actually, no, we can't get through there, can we? You know, I'm actually gonna try that. Because if I, do, I'll regret it if I don't. I know that much. <laughs> This could be pretty bad, but let's see. Come on! Oh! Ho 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 ho! Glad I tried it. Anything in here? But it, there probably won't be anything in here, will there? So what was the point in that? Um... <laughs> seriously, what was the point in that? A random thing we can just open for the sake of it. That makes no sense. Huh. Really? Nothing in here? Well, that was weird. Huh. Okay. I mean, you'd imagine something... Anyway, let's just get out of here. That was weird. Well, that was utterly pointless. Let's be blunt. Oh, that was... That was... Well, I'm glad we got in there, but still pointless. Hey, with flaps. Well, well, Did well. Did you hear this being went full downer? Nah, nah, that was a misidentification. The general straightened it all out. You see, uh, you be respectful in a regular fashion. Yep, you're damn right, it better be. I've got my eye on you, constables. Don't think I don't have my eye on you. Yeah, I'll... I'll... I'll put in a word if you get a step out of line. Yeah, exactly right. This is Victoria Bing. Let me in, please. I need to speak to Dr. Verloc. Ah, oh, Miss Bing. Uh... 
I wouldn't quite enter the premises at the moment, ma'am. Why not? Well, as it happens, uh, there's a rather intensive uh, beautification procedure underway. Oh, really? You really wouldn't believe how beautificated the facility's looking. Why would that... Oh. Oh, dear. Was getting more and more beautificated in there by the minute. But I really do have urgent business with Dr. Verloc. All right, ma'am. As the Chinese say, don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I appreciate the warning, but... I reckon we'll give him a good whipping if we need to. Straighten them out. Well, that's how strong Feeling there, all right there, Miss Bing? I just received a most peculiar pronunciamento about an altercation at a mood booth. Executive committee business. Oh, well, that's all right then, ma'am. Sorry to bother. You're damn right it's none of your business. England expects every man will do his duty. Nelson, Trafalgar. Bobby's a tough. There yeah, they are, but giving a good whacking. In doing what we. <laughs> oh, Miss Big! This, uh, uh, ain't no place for, for a lady at the moment, Mum. They've gone completely mental in there. I'm here to speak with Dr. Verloc. The workers are uh, a, a tad cross with Dr. V, Miss Big. Uh, he's barricaded himself up in his office and he won't come out until we give him the all clear. Your very own uprising. <laughs> Can you get it sorted? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll put down these troublemakers uh, as soon as we can get in. They've uh, cut the power. Now listen. This Wonderful. labor action is important. We ain't striking for a nice hot lunch. Like last time? Shut up, Ronnie. No. We are trying to do our job. And we can't, as those who are in charge have gone completely off their trolley. Dr. B's failure to ensure the joy supply strikes at the very heart of our civilization. These are the times that try men's souls. They are... Yes, Edith. Also women's souls, too. I know. <laughs> we all have to hang together. If any doctors are listening in, this is no time for parties and bickering. There's only one person who ever made the trains run on time here at Hayworth, and that's Sally Boyle. We want Sally back. We need Sally back. We want Sally Boyle. We want Sally Boyle. We want Sally Boyle! We want Sally Boyle! Okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love it's just like, Ernie, shut up! <laughs> oh, classic. Um. Oh. Wait, oh, hang on. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Nice. We've still got the upper hand, lads. Our shop steward's got the key card, and the only way they're getting on the floor is through him. I'd like to see him try and take it away from him. Huh. Well, he's a bruiser, isn't he? Glad he's on our side. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Don't get through there, I don't think. Yeah, you just 
chill out. Let me see if we can. Nice. Old style. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> what? Um. Right. Of course it's bad. Dude, was that any inter any interruptions? <sighs> oh, that's not what I want to do. So we have to go down here for the sake of it. Alright. Just make sure not gonna fall over the edge, okay and your eyes on the doors, lads. Nobody in or out. And nobody disturbs my siesta. Oh, I Firelock's will. Firelock's locked himself away. With that brute skulking around. If I can get the power back on, the bobbies will get things sorted. Then maybe Tony Verloc will come out of hiding. Okay. Let's have a look. Ah. Well, let's try the old sneak method sh first, shall we? And now we're in a party, right? Well, they certainly don't have faith in Verloc. No kidding. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him. Oh. There, isn't there? Can I get... Let's try this. See how far this gets me. Not getting through there anytime soon. Ooh, so we can drop into here though. <gasps> Nothing there. <gasps> okay, okay. Ah. 
Aha. She's the way around there. That's not going to work too well, is it? Aha! That's not going to work either. Nope, okay. Well, let's have a do with these the old fashioned way. Lying around, you'll light up the whole factory. Where are you going to pry him out of his office then? Send a bouquet. <laughs> to your... now, just bring back Miss Boyle and get this operation back on its feet. <laughs> oh, there's one there. Oh, hang on. Okay, interesting. They're gonna guard it. Wonderful. Sneaky like? <laughs> sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, contraption? I like it. Any notes? That's one power switch. One to go. I want to go that way. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Demands. Joy workers of the world, unite! The following are a list of non-negotiable demands. Removal of Anton Verve from his position of leadership at Hayworth Labs. Installation of Sally Bull in this place. 
swift completion and deployment of the Konon, the Konon, the Coconut Joy Project. Oh my god. Well, actually, to be honest, the Coconut thing was the trial one which was being tested in the uh, main game anyway, so, okay. Wow, they must be really enjoying the samples. No more slowdowns. No more experimentation on our relations with the bad ha with the bad batches. No more bad batches. Full stop. Take that up with Verlock and everyone else. An additional tea break on Friday afternoon. Negotiable. Okay, that is should be negotiable. I would imagine. Scones no more than 50% sawdust. Okay, I actually agree with that one. They should they should have sawdust. Period. <laughs> the joy the joy of collective. <laughs> Governors are kind of fair to man, especially the sawdust one. I'm right behind him on that one. Shouldn't have sawdust, period. I'll take that. Aha! Uh -huh. Um... Wait. Confused on this one. Someone's in here with us. Okay. Oh, that's very, very. Very far down indeed. Yes, I agree with you there, wholeheartedly. <sighs> and huh! Ah! Oh! Whoa! That was close. Oh, what joy! Oh God, that was close. Okay. Huh. Find a way up there. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Right. Oh. Anything to collect before we do that? Just in case, I mean. Lovely. It's four. Anything we can get? That's five. Electricity longer. Soft landing. Protect. Strong arm. Nah. Cause them to drop their weapons? That actually would be such a bad one, to be honest. Shine the whip. I might go for this one even. Yeah. Anyway, let's. Oh. Dear Anton, the desk of Harry Hayworth, Hayworth Labs. Hathworth Labs. I'm enclosing the latest draft of the paper I was telling you about Friday last. I have made much progress and I greatly anticipate showing it to the committee. Any input would be most welcome. I re think I am onto something here. Really appreciate all your encouragement, Harry. Okay. Okay, ah, oh, so this is towards the theory of practice of practice and applied phrenology. <laughs> Phrenological science of the 19th century theorized that the brain was formed of various growths, each representing a different human trait, benevolence, combativeness, wit, hope, etc. These sub-organs would press against the skull the skull for measurable exterior protrusions. Applied phrenology inverts the normal phrenological method. It, propose, it proposes that modern technology could effectively reshape the organ responsible for, say, happiness, producing a feeling for contentment not unlike our joy formula. And all without the ever-increasing shortages that we've been bedeviling our supply chain. I've taken the liberty of applying my prototype technique to five of my assistants in my lab already. Although they are still recovering from the process and are still unable to communicate, I'm happy to report that two of them appear to be grinning wildly. Progress! Oh, sad science for you, old fashioned. Even mod day as well. Dr. Harry Hayworth. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Well, progress to the sake of progress, I guess. <laughs> when all this is done, Tony Verloc and I are going to have a little chat about management principles. Uh, oh, God, that is close. Okay, okay. Go! Woof! That's close. Shoot, this is... Oh, okay, nice. Okay, suckers, time to whip you into shape. Hey, I'm in charge here, not you. Come on. Right. Now behave. <laughs> Anything over here? A whole lot of nothing. Well, I thought I'd whip those guys into shape. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll land it here, and next time we'll head down to the bottom. <clears throat> Take care of any of those, uh, those workers that do not want to behave, and we'll probably have to deal with that steward. So, and then get the bobbers in here and restore order. So. Catch you next time.